Hi guys, welcome. We are on, yes, you've guessed it, maybe Hyperland. This is the ISO. In a few weeks time, we'll launch Hyperland. We've been on, on Wayland now for two weeks, that's all. So we're pretty new and very new and, and starting to figure out how everything works. So a lot of things will not work, it's uh, very simple. Uh, Wayland has its own um, ecosystem basically and we're not recording with simple screen recorder with, with WF recorder and so on and so on a lot of applications that are specifically only to Wayland three things to remember one don't install it in a virtual machine not on virtual box not on boxes not on QMU not in VMware not secondly don't install NVIDIA drivers. Yes, you can have Hyperland or Sway on a machine with an NVIDIA card, but not with the NVIDIA driver. And thirdly, don't start mixing things. It's already difficult and complex enough. Start with the Arclinx B Sway and the Arclinx B Hyperland that will be released shortly. The first thing I have to do, and probably you have to do as well, is the fact that, let's, let's break everything again, Let's do a scalp, right? You mess things up. This is your savior. Scalp is going to overwrite everything. In my case, I'm back to QWERTY, <laughs> which is not better, it's worse. And this is normal, right? If you do a scalp, this is what happens. You need to reboot and everything will be nice and black and the correct icons. But what is important is that you put in here, this is Thunar, put the .config in here so you can quickly have access to it and the same for hyper so it says hyper but it is hyperland there's another desktop out there that's called hyper which is for xorg x11 so that's confusing and i hope that the developers one day will call this folder hyperland so they can exist next to each other now they can't so choose either hyper or hyperland and then um, the thing is this for people who are, most of our people are on QWERTY, which is no problem because it'll use this one. That's the only thing it will use. It will not use Azerti, it will not use QWERTY, but it's there for our convenience. Install Sublime Text, install Melt, and then you can compare and set it to the way to, to, the, to the keyboard to your liking. That's one thing, right? So US, nope, nope, not for me anyway. Many people from uh, the France community, not only uh, the French community, I mean by that, not just the country France, because there's more. And we have here this one that goes out. That one needs to Belgium. This is for me, right? The Azerti from France is not the same as the Azerti from Belgium. So take care of that. What is the exact name? And uh, DEs, for example, for Germany. And here we say to the system, forget about these one, two, three, four, five, because that's not our layout in Azerti. So we move everything from the Azerti file to the QWERTY file, basically the only file that's being used. All the rest is just there to have a quick, um, well, way to go to Azerti. And these guys are now the same. If I install melt, compare, then they say the files are identical, and that's the point. It should be identical for me. I want to go to Azerti, and this should now differ because I have an Azerti and a QWERTY, and it's the only one that's being used is the one hyperland.conf. So that's the first little bit before you start with anything. Make sure you have access to the files down here. Make sure that you have the QWERTY and the Azerti or the German or whatever keyboard you're using set it the right way and let's include also the sublime text so if you do super d or super shift d you can actually launch it and make this folder this hyper folder the default folder voila i'm gonna keep this one so this is the hyper folder and everything that's in the hyper folder is reading material starting with this one because this one is being used and this one is just for the qwerty and the azerty stuff so go and read all of it it helps to put it in something else and plain text 
to Perl. Sometimes it doesn't do that, so you have to click again and then say, okay, Perl, there he is. A little bit of color is always fun. And everything that's gray is commentary. It's, it's just extra information that is not used by the system. All right, that's it for me for now. That's the first thing you do. Make sure that you have the correct keyboard and then you can play around. And forget, don't forget the three rules, right? Articlinks BI is not in the virtual machine and no NVIDIA drivers present. Then you can play. All right, cheers.